Hey everyone, have you ever wondered about composting? Your family can save 300 pounds of food waste from going into the landfill per year. And you will have the best gardening soil, better than any commercial fertilizer. We have been composting for five years now and I really want to inspire you to try it. You'll be surprised how simple it is and no, it does not stink. Your compost needs food, water, and air. The food is a mixture of browns and greens. Browns are carbon rich materials, the energy food for the microorganisms. These are the dry fibrous stuff that is tan or brown, dried leaves, shredded paper, egg cartons, cardboard, etc. Greens are nitrogen rich materials, the protein food for the microorganisms. Examples are fruits and vegetable scraps, eggshells, coffee grounds, fresh grass clippings, etc. The ratio of browns to greens is recommended to be 25 to 1, but all organic matter eventually breaks down, no matter what you do. If you use about three times as much brown stuff as green, you'll be fine. The compost also needs water and moisture, but too much moisture will drown the microorganisms and too little will dehydrate them. Keep the compost pile as moist as a well-squeezed sponge. When adding water, best to use unchlorinated water. Your compost also needs air. Microorganisms need oxygen too. That's why many composters can be rotated. If your composter does not rotate, then you can mix it yourself. When the temperature gets hot, you need to turn it every two or three days. If you don't have a compost bin, a wooden crate works fine, or you can dig a ditch in the dirt. This is the most economic and the most environmental way because you don't need to buy anything. Don't make the same mistake we did by getting a plastic tumbler. The thick plastic in the bins take one, can take 1,000 years or more to decompose. Sorry, Earth. Here's what our compost looks like. It's not ready yet, but it should be in a month or two since it's quite warm here in Southern CA. Compost shouldn't smell bad. It has an odor only when it gets too wet or there's too much nitrogen, the greens. And as long as you don't put meat or dairy in your compost pile, it should not attract rodents. You might not see the worms, but there are a lot of them in there. You don't need worms, but they convert your scraps much faster. Happy composting!